Nixon was a guy that, that attracted great loyalties from those who worked for him. Uh, it's, it was amazing. It was one of the first things that struck me as I began to, to talk to them, was how protective they were of this um, poor um, guy who had so many uh, personal problems and his peculiarities. And they believed they saw him as a tragic figure who was uh, treated unfairly by the press and by history. Um, so right away, you, you, you begin to develop some sympathy and some empathy um, for Nixon. And many of the things that have been said about him over time by liberal uh, journalists and, and scholars um, are flat out wrong. So that can be why. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, uh, for example, there's a, um, the, the shorthand for Nixon's experience in World War II was that he spent the war make, playing poker. Well, he did spend a lot of time playing poker, but he happened to spend, spend it in the Solomon Islands in a combat zone playing poker, which is a, which is a, a, a different, different thing. thing, a different thing entirely. Um, and uh, um, uh, there was a famous uh, controversy about whether in his first election for Congress, there were phone calls made by the Republican Party on election eve saying, you know that Jerry Voorhees, who was his opponent, you know that Jerry Voorhees is a communist. Well, you know, there's, there, is, there are enough people who say that happened that there probably were some phone calls made, and yet it was blamed on Nixon and Nixon's organization that they must have had a massive attempt uh, uh, with, with, with uh, um, uh, phone banks everywhere throughout the district, and that this is what swung the election. Well, no, what swung the election was Nixon's great performance in a candidate debate. Um, so there's, there's things like that, uh, that as you correct the, the record, then people say, okay, well, you're, you know, you're going out of your way to being um, too nice to him. Mm -hmm.